Okay, let's have a look at GCSE photography and let's have a think about why this might be a great course for you to study. Um, now, this is a very arts based course. It's very similar to the way the art subject is set up, except this one is going to specialise in photography. And we're going to learn quite a lot about different areas of photography, but we're also going to then get a, lot, a real practical understanding as to how to use the camera and how to um, take the pictures and create the artwork that you're most interested in. So first things first, let's just understand a little bit about what photography is. Now, it is one of the cornerstones of the world. And just take a minute and think about how many images that you're exposed to on a daily basis. OK. Um, think about all the pictures that you see on social media. Think about all the pictures that you see in advertising and on TV and when you're walking around. Think about every newspaper and every magazine that's full of packed pack full of images. Well, where do all those images come from? This course is looking at engaging your creativity on, on a completely new level, understanding that actually photographs aren't taken, but they're often created, especially with the types of professional images that you see that are used everywhere. OK, they're used to try and tell a story. They're used to put a, a, bring a pro product into particular focus and show it in a positive light or show it in a negative light. OK, we use images to um focus and look at people and try and understand that person and tell a little story about that person and and you're going to get given the skills by studying gcse photography to understand how you create those stories how you create certain emotions in your audience as they as they look at your pictures it's not just gonna be a case of oh yeah I just wipe my phone out and take a few snaps anymore but actually i'm going to use my, my phone and i'm going to take a, a photo in a particular way and this is the reason why okay so following this course, you'll be prepared to carve out this a career in photography or something relating to using the camera, um, or at the very least, it'll make you very good at Instagram. <laughs> OK, um, now the GCSE itself is split up into two sections. I'm going to talk about those two sections now and give you a little bit of detail about what happens in those. OK, now the first part and the bit that we spend quite a lot of time working on, particularly in year 10, is developing your portfolio. Now. This will be um, working on a variety of different projects. OK, each of those projects will focus on a particular artist. We'll explore the artist's style and learn about how to take photos as if we are that artist. Then we'll look at pastiche ideas. So we'll look at artists who have maybe done something similar, but put their own slant on it, their own different artistic vision. And you'll learn about how you can add variety to your pictures then to, to sort of make the pictures your own. Make the pitch, you know, use a particular setup and lighting style, but make it so it's you it's, and it's the way you want to do it. OK, that's built up through years 10 and 11. Now, whilst we're doing those different projects, there'll be a, a, a constant build up of skills on how to use a camera, how to make take better pictures with your phone, but also how to take better pictures with your um, with a DSLR camera, which we have in school and we loan out to you. But um, if you've got your own camera at home, because I know many people have, you might might be a great opportunity to start using that camera and understand how to use it better. We'll understand things like aperture and shutter speed and ISO and how those affect the quality of the image that you want to take. OK, and then be lots of little workshops where you'll practice those individual skills and then they will help you build up that portfolio. of. So you then you'll end up with not only a portfolio of photos that you've taken, but a portfolio of skills that you've developed. OK, now there's a lot of digital um, skills and ICT literacy skills in this as well. So we'll teach you how to edit your photos on the computer, how to stop them looking flat and boring and make them look more interesting, how to take a whole bunch of photographs and different ways of combining them as a collage or combining them together. So it actually looks like it's one photograph. OK, um, and there will hopefully also be trips where we can practice these techniques and explore different artists. Uh, but obviously, we're just keeping our eye on the uh, the, the crazy pandemic. And um, after that, this is all finished and maybe we'll get a bit more freedom on those trips. Now, that forms of the beginning part of our year. But then what happens then in year 11 is you'll be set an exam. Now, what the exam board will do then is set you a brief. So they give you a variety, they give us a variety of different topics and we choose one of those topics. And you have 10 hours of supervised time, which is normally spread over two days um, to actually create images and do the things you need to show off your answer to that brief. Now, when you're doing that, what you'll be expected to do is show off all those technical skills that you've developed. 
show off that knowledge that you've got of the camera now show off your understanding of different artists and put all that information that you've got and developed in your portfolio together to then go and make a really exciting exam production piece okay now that could be several parts or each exam is different so that's something we talk to you about closer to the time and then we'll be ready for um some form of exhibition exhibition where you get to show off all of your artwork um now people who are interested in uh, photography you know it may just be a fun hobby that you've got and you and it's a great fun subject to do alongside some of all, all these technical and um difficult like subjects that you're already doing but then there's also people who are interested in this because they've got ideas on potential careers okay now some of those careers that are listed on this page here now you know obviously careers in like fashion if you're really into sport like i am then you know my dream would be to go and stand inside the pitch sometimes and take some of the pictures okay go to special events and be the photographer taking the pictures um you might be interested in film the film industry and a cinematographer is the person who is in charge of that camera and filming the film and making it look amazing um so that person works very closely with the director in terms of making uh, making films uh, maybe you're interested in journalism or documentaries and using the camera is going to be a great way of you taking pictures or filming some of that footage because most journalists now are expected to do their own pictures and their own filming at the same time. So this is a great way of building up those skills. You might just be a hobby, you might be interested in landscapes and you might go out walking quite a lot. And this is a great opportunity to learn how to take better pictures whilst you're out walking. Uh, portraits are taking pictures of people. You might want to, you might find people very interesting and sitting down with them in the camera and, and capturing their portrait can be a real good um, option. The travel and tourism, you know, maybe you want to go and see the world. So take a camera with you and then you could probably sell the pictures that you've seen and, and sell the stories that you've got to tell from when you're on your travels. Um, maybe you're interested in just freelance design and production or you want to go work in the advertising industry. All of those industries there are desperate for people who can use cameras. Um, if you are really interested in the practical production of lots of different things and you might also want to consider looking at the creative eye media video because that could complement this very well because you'd learn a lot of good camera skills and in creative eye media or in, in sorry in media studies as well actually you could then go and put those skills into practice media studies in particular would give you a real good understanding as to why filmmakers and producers do things the, the way they do now so understanding why then helps you take better pictures um and so yeah i think gcc is going to be a real interesting uh, choice for a lot of people here's some of the uh, examples of work and the type of things that you've been producing so for instance we've got examples of projects there that someone's experimenting with the way they collage a photograph together or there's an example on the left there they're showing off the different skills that they're using so you can see we've got a uh, use of aperture there to blur out backgrounds or make the backgrounds really clear um we've got sketchbooks at the top so that's how students are presenting the work that they've done and showing that they've understand these different ideas um, and then a bit more a few more examples here the one on the top right is really impressive because actually hanging from in the middle of a room and lots of different pictures there's a, another example of one hanging there in a box so it doesn't just have to be take a photo and there you go here, here it is on instagram there's lots of different ways there's a girl even wearing one of her photos down there in the bottom left corner so lots of different opportunities are there it's not it is an arts course so you get to express your own ideas and develop your own ideas so it's going to be a lot of fun and um, if you have got any specific questions I, I recommend that you either try and speak to myself or miss stevenson um, as soon as you can and make sure you ask those questions or get all the extra information that you need um, but that's basically a good overview of photography and i look forward to hearing your questions or hearing from you in any other way uh, in the future so thanks for listening